might use that for the for the teaser though. Oh jeez. Drink it. <laughs> Sorry. Well, she gets your back together. <laughs> to you. Mission 12. Good afternoon. <laughs> uh, everybody says that. We are headed for Watson Mill Bridge State Park. Uh, I believe the address is Comer, Georgia. Kind of the Athens, Helen, Tallulah Falls triangle in that neck of northern Georgia. Um, no real monumentally stupendous reason to choose there. It was just someplace we hadn't been. And, and it's fall break. It's as far as Halloween, and I don't have to teach. And we don't have to deal with the little beggars coming to our door at home, too. Well, yeah, it's better than that. <laughs> <laughs> I love my students at the Sure. <laughs> One thing that attracted us to Watson Mill Bridge State Park is the bridge itself. It is the longest covered bridge in the state of Georgia. It was built in the 1800s. It's not in Madison County. No. And we actually can't drive on it while we're pulling the camper. But we can talk about that later. This is primarily just get away from it all, relax for a long weekend kind of trip. No no major milestones or you know, points on the compass that we really, really wanted to see. It's just an excuse to go camping and, and be out of the house for a few days and be away from the Hall Halloween makers. Know the drill, and here we are, Watson Mill Bridge State Park. This is our site. I'll give you the quick little walking tour. We are in site number six, and I'm relatively certain that I'm the one that booked this site. I don't remember booking a pull through. <laughs> Apparently, I did because it's a pull through, but um, that was a little bit of a surprise when we pulled up. I just I completely forgot. Um, so as a result, this was probably the second easiest setup we've ever had. We got lucky one time with a back end. I can't remember which one. Um, it is, what time is it getting to be? It is uh, da, 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 a little bit after 5.30. Um, we're hungry. Uh, we're probably going to have to leave the park and run into Elberton, Georgia. Uh, hopefully not all the way to Athens and get some supplies because we didn't do, we didn't do a very good job prepping for this trip like we usually do. Uh, I think we've got enough staples we could survive tonight if we had to, but we're gonna have to get some stuff sooner or later. So may as well do it tonight and that way it's done and then we can spend the rest of the time uh, making fine video content for your enjoyment. So <laughs> uh, whatever's next is next, you'll see it. <laughs> Yeah, I've been taking you guys grocery shopping in a long time. <laughs> That's always fun. <laughs> we we didn't make the mistake didn't make the mistake of coming hungry this time though. This is true. <laughs> we might save some money. Yeah. I want I want a hamburger. And I want a hot dog. Oh, you'll get some of that. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Healthy stuff, like fruit. 
vegetables. You take the lead. Uh, not a wonky one. They're they're all wonky. <laughs> Guess I'm going to get another buggy. <laughs> I smell fish. <laughs> you, sir, are ugly. <laughs> no, no, apple fritters. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, let me see. Stuff to put on the burgers. Ooh, what is... What is this stuff? It appears that they're all about oh. that. That's a packaging thing. Like potato chips. Mm -hmm. Contents may settle during shipping. <laughs> so we've got the makings for burgers one night mm -hmm. and salmon another night. Kabasi. I think that's it. We ought to be set then. That's like that's three suppers, yeah. yeah. Okay. We good. Back to the camper. Hello there. It's Thursday, uh, our first full day here, and we really haven't done and probably won't do anything of note today. Um, but with the weather being like it is, kind of chancy, we figured we wouldn't really plan any uh, specific activity today. Um, we're supposed to have lovely weather tomorrow and Saturday, so we've come and delaying all of our ex exploring the park until then. But we got a break in the rain, so I'm going to take a little stroll, and I thought I'd give you a glimpse of the campground. And let you see our surroundings. Bathhouse with laundry. That was a little bit of a surprise. I don't think we're going to need to do any laundry, but it's there. Somebody's got a load going right now, as a matter of fact. Right at the dump station. Right here. Let me turn around right here. There's our, our site. So we just, when we pull out on Sunday morning, we'll be right there. This is the first park I believe we visited that just about all of the sites are pull-through sites. I'm, I mean, there's a couple of back ends, but I, the overwhelming majority of these sites are actually pull-throughs, and including ours. Another example, of, you know, we've seen at least the South Carolina parks that we visited, the ones that were laid out ages ago by the Civilian Conservation Corps with tents in mind, you can tell the difference. The newer parks that have been laid out in the last 30, 40 years with you know, larger trailers in mind. I guess this is an example of it, all these pull through sites. I don't have a count as to how many sites there are here, but I, I did count um, this morning when I went to the bathhouse. There, there are only five campers, including us, here right now. Like this is the most to ourselves I believe we've ever had a campground. Of course, again, we got here on a Wednesday and tomorrow's Thursday. Come the weekend, things may fill up a little bit, but as of right now, this is the most solitude we've had at a campground, other than that trip to Aiken. Oh Lord, we had that place to ourselves.
if you saw our Tulula Gorge video, <laughs> I might not should go on this tour. <laughs> Slippery rocks and I don't get along. And away we go. The hiking and bicycle trail. Hiking and bicycle trail. So hopefully we won't get run over. <laughs> here. You've already made progress by getting here. Well, darn. <laughs> Didn't feel like a lot of progress. <laughs> Into the woods. <laughs> Looks like Tula the Gorge. A little. Ooh, pretty. This is lovely. turned inland away from the river deeper into the woods where all the boogeymen probably live has gotten closer to the riverbank again and we see now that the river has quieted down. That's part of the reason why we weren't hearing it. I guess we've gotten past the rapids portion of it for lack of a better term. It's just a nice lazy river now. Something I was reading said there used to be um, beaver dams and so this area was flooded flooded at one point and since there was actually a I think a mass flooding a storm that washed out the beaver dams mm -hmm. and then that never came it back shifted yeah, yeah. well pooey Just an observation, I don't know if it really means anything, but I noticed that closer down to the river is mostly oaks. Mm -hmm. And the farther in inland, you know, away from the river we get, it's more pine. I mean there's a few oaks, but still, you know, there's a whole lot more there's a lot more pine needles, of course. Yeah. I don't know whether there's any botanical reason for that. Just an observation. Like we are coming out, well not coming out the other side, coming out the same side, <laughs> coming out. <laughs> Anytime we go traipsing through the deep dark jungle and don't get lost forever and ever and left for dead, I, I consider that a victory. Yes. So victory. Sunday morning and we all know what that means, it's time to go back home. Yuck. Yuck. But hey, we can't go on a new trip until we finish the current trip. And so we're finishing the current trip. Gotta go. Gotta go back to work. And gotta pay the bills. Gotta make the dough to pay for the next trip. This is true. But you also know that that means it's time for our mission report. 
<laughs> Watson Mill Bridge State Park. What do we think? Lovely. I agree. Very relaxing. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty park. Really small campground. Uh, only about 20... 21 sites that we figure out was. Most of which are pull-throughs. So And smaller pull-throughs. I, yes. I, I think you know, the campground host had a had a huge toy hauler, 40 foot rig, and there was one other pretty good sized fifth wheel there. But most of what was there was stuff our size and not terribly larger. And I right. think that's kind of what that campground is geared towards. If you got a humongous rig, you might really want to check things out before you get there. Uh, the trails were really pretty, not super exciting. Um, I mean, it's, it was a lovely walk. Um, Especially closer to the river itself, the river walk was really nice. Um, but no big wows, except for the bridge itself. But keep in mind, we only saw a, a hiking bicycle trail. Of course, there's miles and miles and miles of horse trails right. that we have no means of seeing. So all that stuff may just be wow, we just wouldn't know. <laughs> Keeping in mind the name of the channel is Live and Learn, we must describe what we learned this time around. The first thing I learned was that the bridge at Watson Mill Bridge State Park is a little bit of a rarity. There, there's only there were once almost 200 of those That's kind right. of bridges scattered throughout Georgia. Covered bridges. Covered bridges, uh, and now there are uh, what, right at 20. 20. And the one there at the park is the longest one still in existence. So that was that was pretty interesting. A little bit tidbit to learn. That's true, and the bridge itself held up by wooden. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the I guess dowels, dowels <laughs> for lack of a better term, uh, it, it's very interesting. It can support vehicles up to three tons and there's not a drop of metal holding it together. Alright, All right, second thing we learned was make sure you are well stocked and prepared or know that you are going to have to take a little bit of a drive to get any kind of supplies, food items, things like that. Like um, to Athens. Right. <laughs> Uh, we actually knew we were going to have to stock up, um, but it did take a little bit of a, a jaunt to get there. The visitor center at the park has little to no uh, concession supplies, a groceries. Of nibble, a couple of nibble snacks, and that's really it. And, and really, the nibble snack, the only thing I saw were nipping the huts <laughs> or ice. Uh, so, kind of keep that in mind, you know, to plan things out. Lesson number three for this trip, if you happen to be a fire bug <laughs> and demand a, fi a campfire, you may want to bring your own firewood to Watson Mill Bridge State Park. Or be prepared to pay a lot of money for four measly pieces of wood. In, it, my, in my humble opinion, and I, I have lots of positive things to say about mm -hmm. that park, but one negative I will say is they jip you on the firewood. All right. Five dollars and four small pieces of wood. I mean, I wouldn't even call one of them a, a it, was, it was sliver. It struck me as being about one good sized log cut in fourths. fourths. And that was it. Yeah, so that was really disappointing. I never did get a good campfire going, and I was bummed. <laughs> you know, because last year it rained on us all the time. So I wanted a campfire. I had a chance to have a campfire and got kind of, kind of screwed. Yeah, no, well, live and learn. <laughs> and with those lessons in the book, that concludes our trip to Watson Mill Bridge State Park. Uh, glad you took a look. Thanks for being here. Subscribe, why don't you? Um, hit the thumbs up down there for us. It really helps us out a lot. Uh, tell your friends. Share this video. Uh, you know, bring in some other folks to laugh at us while we screw up all over the time. <laughs> <laughs> the more people laughing at us, the better. And click the notification bell, and you'll find out about new videos and our screw-ups and what we've learned. <laughs> so, until our next adventure, which will be to Richard B. Russell State Park, also here in Georgia. That'll be our Thanksgiving trip this year. We look forward to seeing you then. And, uh, well, Jess, you tell them that thing we always tell them. Keep living and learning.